Blade Walker here, playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 19, Stable. So, today we are going to be doing the gyrocopter landing pad. And then, if we have time, which hopefully we will, we will be doing... Ooh, wowie, wow, wow. That is not good. Alright, let's go ahead and get the gyrocopter landing pad going. And then we are going to begin work on the actual horde base, the final version. This and that. And we are going to be using some blade traps. And when I say some, I mean an insane number. Oh 125 uses the whole amount. I'll admit I didn't expect that. Uh, 61, so we'll just go a little over. Alright, so it looks like we're going oil shale mining. Maybe not today. Where was it? Actually, uh, cans. Empty cans, how many can we make? 207? Sold. Okay, you may have noticed. I got, well, now you're going to notice, I've got stacks upon stacks of materials. These are all full of 6,000 stones in every slot. They're all grinding out, and as you can see, I've got plenty more on top of that. I've also got tons and tons of coal, nitrate. I spent a good two hours or so, maybe not quite that long, but it felt like it, making materials, and I've got a lot. So, yeah. That's good, but uh, I'm now ready to get back into doing something else. We do need to do a little bit of looting, but honestly, I really got to get busy on crafting. Now, I ended up making a separate box over there, as you saw, for cement mix because there just was no more room in here. And as you can see, it's not exactly getting better. If I could find that book where I could stack resources into stacks, that would be wonderful, but so far said books have eluded me. I don't want to put those in there. Yeah, see, I am I am so tempted to add some stack mods just so I can stack this stuff, because these stack sizes are just... It's not even that they're small. They're just such arbitrary numbers. 125? What? Why not 100 or 250 or 500? They're just such odd numbers. And then 10. Why are they 10? Well, not these, but like drinks. Why are they 10? They stacked a 500 in empty jars, but only 10? It, whatever. So, there's how much cement mix we've got so far. I just uh, finished that up. Everything's set up and crafting. So, let's grab some frames. Oh, I left them all at the base, didn't I? I surely did. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, make some more. We're going to need them, so 2,000 sold. I know it sounds like a lot, but we're going to blaze through that in no time. So let's grab a couple of stacks. You shouldn't need a whole lot. Oh, yeah, when I was out here uh, picking the farm a little while ago... There was a small flock of vultures flying around. Stupid turkeys. They didn't bother me, oddly enough. So I'm not going to bother them. Okay, so I got this one making oil. This one making gunpowder. So what do we need to make blade traps? Blade trap. Only 11 oil. Or we need 11 oil. Didn't I buy the thing? And stuff. Electrical devices cost 35%. Okay, they already cost 25, so I'm not too concerned with an extra 10%. It'd be nice, but electrical devices cost 15% less, 25, 35. I definitely want to get that, but considering how many points I need to get it, I don't think. The next thing I want to get... Oh, no, I already got salvage operations. Oh, okay. You know what? 
So to get that, I need one. Ooh, I need six points. God, that's a lot. I need two points here, and then level nine. Or to get to level ten from level nine, I'd need another three. So that's five, and then, then six for the actual... Ooh, that's a lot. Although I've almost got one level, I'll about to... Or one point. Okay, so getting distracted. Let's put the oil away. I'll mess with that later. I'm... I'm torn on it. I really want to start building those things because they take forever to craft. Wait a minute. Why do I have a bunch of stuff here I'm not making? What the heck, man? Not like it really matters, but, you know... I'm not going to be building anything anytime soon. Alright, so let's see if we have some of our rebar here. Yep, that's good. That's all we really need. Okay. So, I definitely would like to build these if I can. Oh, keep forgetting it's weird. On the... Uh, we don't want to build this on the... Eh, on an open area because it'll collapse. We definitely want to build this as best we can. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's fine. That's fine. And then I wanted it four high so we can walk underneath it and not bump our head. I'm not going to make it too particularly big since now I've discovered how to fly the stupid thing much more easily. Plus, it's not modded, so it flies at a normal, reasonable speed. So there's no need for that. So I don't really need a giant platform. But I keep trying to land it here, or I keep landing, or well, I haven't landed here in a while, but the first couple times I did, yeah. I damaged one or two of these, and it, that it kind of annoyed me, so I don't want to do that again. All right, let's see where the wall is. The wall is right here. Now I gotta double check. Does that wall go all the way down? I do believe it does. Yes, it does, okay. So let's get this going. In fact, you know what? Too wide may be all we really need. Okay, so we're gonna go here. One, two, three, four. I think that's actually one too many, it is. So we'll just go ahead and put them even with this. Now, I don't believe there is a floor here. I'm almost positive there's not a floor underneath this, but it'll be fine. It'll be held up by the other ones, so it won't be an issue. Once I connect all these together, the structural integrity, integrity here won't really matter. It'll hold itself up just fine. And if it doesn't, well, then you get to watch it collapse and laugh. I know I will. Along with shaking my head, be like, oh, really? That's, uh, that's interesting. So, while I'm building this, I think it'd be a good idea to explain what we're going to do with the actual horde base. Can I get out of here? Yes, I can. Just barely and boom. What we're going to do is we're going to line the entire outside or inside wall that they fall off of. We're going to put a bunch of blade traps on the ground right at the base of the inside of the wall. So that when they come and flop down and ragdoll, they're going to ragdoll right onto some blade traps. I think that would be hilarious. And I intend to do that. So, we are going to do that. However, the problem will be... First of all, we got to go and count how many blade traps we're going to need, and I would be willing to bet it is an insane amount. Probably in excess of 50. Nah, maybe not that many. But it could be. I mean, we're, we're talking about a really large number of blade traps. 30, 50, 70, pfft, no clue, but it's going to be a lot. Now, we're going to keep going over here, but I've, I've almost run out of frames, so we are going to put our... 
Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do it here. Because we're going to go out a couple more here. Probably like another three total. So we need to go down here. Grab what we can. Nice. And we're going to grab some ladders. Well, not ladders. We're going to grab... Yeah, we'll grab some of those. And then... Wood ladders. I don't know. I only need a couple. Not 1,200. We only need like two, I think, but that's fine. I'm going to take a small stack of these. Make another iron hatch. Uh, let's see. Get rid of that. One, two. Yep. Of course I didn't. That's fine. That way, I want it that way. Okay. I miss the old level up sound. Alright, I want to get some of those. So that I can upgrade these. Alright. Where did I. There they are. Gonna do that so I don't accidentally fall off. All right. I don't think it's down there. No, I think I put it away. What I've been doing is landing on the ground next to the uh, jeep on the gyrocopter, and then taking off on the ground. This really isn't even necessary. I just think it's fun to make one on top of the base, so I can easily take off and land. The one on my personal world on top of a mountain, and I actually had to build a pathway up, snaking up along the mountain. It's actually pretty cool, but it does kind of suck when you're in a hurry because you got to run all the way up and down the path up the mountain, then climb down the long ladder to the base of the world. But it's it's fun. It was a lot of fun building it, that's for sure. Okay, now we're not worried about painting any of this stuff today. I'll probably maybe I'll do that off camera. I don't know, but. Uh, We've got a lot of stuff to do and not a whole lot of time to do it. I know it's only day 45, but next thing you know, boom, day 49 and stuff ain't done. We cannot have that. So I may paint it later off camera or something, but for now, today's goal is to simply get it built. Yeah, we're going to go three off. You can go like ten, but I don't, I don't think it needs to, without support I mean. But I just don't see us needing that many, or that large a pad, since I can actually drive it now and not worry about flying into buildings and everything else. Now that I think about it, are there any? Well, that looks like that tree is going to have to go, because if I don't get rid of it, I will probably crash into it. And while that may be amusing to watch, it's not so much fun to do. All right. Okay. I may have to redo those fences I just put up here. Oh, crap. Look at that. Three stacks of concrete. Boom. Gone. I hope someday they up the stack size to like 6,000 so it's in line with every other stack size. Because 3,000 or 1,000 is just stupidly small for something you need so much of. Even more so now that it takes 20 per upgrade for these. Makes even less sense. Alright. Oh, I just realized. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd have to go pretty far over that to block the sun. Okay, yeah, that should be plenty good. Now, we're going to go ahead and chop these out, and you'll see why in a second. It's because when you get to the ends here, I won't be able to put the ends. And since this is the longer end... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on the outside, like so. But they won't, I don't know if they'll support that long of a span. In fact, I don't think they will. So we're going to do something to take care of that. In fact, let's go ahead and make some more because I'm, come on, clicky. 
because I'm pretty sure that's not going to work. So we're going to throw these on. And these are mostly just decorative. They don't really have any value. I don't need to put a little lip on there anymore if I don't want to because now I don't have to worry about the gyro plummeting to the ground before it takes off even though it's flying at a high rate of speed. So now here's what we are going to do here since we've we got way more than enough. It's wooden fences time. I think I've got some down below but well, now I've got more. So we're going to shut up woman. Looks like she's going to cause problems. And of course I've got to go out the front door so Yes. One dead victim. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, perfect. You know what? It doesn't have to be all the way along. As long as it's most of the way, it's fine. And of course, I'll paint these later so that you don't notice them. But for now... They've got to be that way. Oop, nothing there. I always check that thinking there's something in there and there is not. Ooh, that was kind of creepy for a second. I came up and it was all black. It was all dark. Okay. I don't need those, I need these. Now we... Set them like that, and then there we go. Basically, they're resting on the fence that's on the side of the wall here. So even though that fence is wafer thin, it takes up this entire block. So it's like I'm putting this on a full block, even though it doesn't look like I am. It's a little trick that people have been using for a long time, and it's a pretty cool one at that. And there you go. And look, it even lines up nice. And neat, so you can't even tell. And I'm going to upgrade a couple of these here so that if I crash into them with the gyrocopter, they won't immediately disintegrate. How much do I got? Ooh, these are expensive to upgrade. Well, not really. It's only 100 iron. 100 iron ain't nothing. All right, that's good enough for now. Okay, well, let's see how much time... Wow, we didn't use much time at all to get that done. Nice. Which means... Let's get our butts over to the Horde base. So we can take a gander. Because I definitely have some stuff I'd like to look at. Put the stone up here. Get rid of those. I was going to use the drawbridge, but I ended up not using it. How many engines? Ooh, that's going to be bad. We're going to need a whole lot of engines for these, uh, whatchamacallits, blade traps. All right, so we're going to take a little bit more, even though I don't think we really need it, because I've got a ton over there, or at least I did it. Something damaged? I know I saw hit points pop up. Better not have. All right, let's get these going, and then we are out. I will, I'm going to do all this stuff off camera real quick. I'm just going to get stuff crafting. And then I will see you guys at the Horde base. Okay, scratch that. I'm not going to meet you at the Horde base. I'm going to meet you guys here so we can do our first flight of the gyro. Look at that. It actually takes off and doesn't drop out of the sky like a stone. Okay, so... One thing we're going to do is we're going to repair the base. Although I did forget to bring my steel, so we may or may not be able to do that. We need to make some other materials. Really? Wow, they smashed that up. You stupid little victims. That's what I get for not paying attention. Okay. Now, I've decided that I'm not going to build a giant ramp along all four walls. I'm probably going to build uh, one ramp in the middle and then corners on both sides, or one on both sides of each corner, and then I'll build a wall at the very edge out here, straight up, 
so that they will they'll go around and then go up the ramps. Now, here's the problem. Other than me getting in there. How the hell am I going to get in there? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I mean, I know how I'll get in there. It's just... I don't want to break my leg. I really don't want to break my leg. Mostly because I didn't bring a splint with me. Oh, that'll work. Alright. So. Oh, look at this. Upgrade, please. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete, delete. We're going to, ooh. I left the damage on my auger at 300%. Whoops. Oh, well, I'll have to change that later. What we're going to do is we're going to dig down. Look at this. I made it exactly three wide. I didn't actually think about it at the time, but that ended up being perfect. So there's going to be blade traps all the way along on the floor. So, yeah, that's going to be a lot of blade traps. But it's going to be just LOL city. Look at this. Such rudeness breaking. What was that? I mean, I know what it was, but... Come on, guys. Come on down. Get your food. I is a-waiting. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, what's up, Marlene? So now I'm wondering if that is a cord. Let us see. No. Okay, so the walls are still... There are still walls, so... Or ramps... All right, so now what we need to do is count out, and here's the thing. I'm hoping there's no... I'm hoping these are... Oh, man. All right, so I don't... So here's one. That's one. And then that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Oh, could I have been that lucky? Did I make this place exactly square? I don't know. We're going to find out, aren't we? So there's three, 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 three. Okay. I'm hoping there's no place where there will be a gap, because that would suck. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. <gasps> No way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Could I have been that lucky? Ooh, ooh, almost miscounted. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Oh, there's no way I did it that perfect. Holy crap. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this. So that's one. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So it looks like 32 is the number I am going to need. Who snorted at me? Oh, did you see that? I got him as he came to... Ooh, right in the nuts. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm actually... I'm not sorry. So, 32 blade traps. I'll probably make 35-ish for two reasons. One, just in case I miscounted because I suck at math. Two, in case any of them get destroyed. Now. Sorry, I had to take a drink. 
So if you're wondering how I'm going to do this, very simple. Let me go to where I've already dug out. Okay, so they're going to be recessed into the ground. They're not going to be up. Uh, they're not going to be level with the first block. They're going to be totally recessed. They'll be flat, meaning they'll be on this level, and they'll be completely even with the ground here. This is where the traps will be. So what I will do is, don't need these anymore, I'm going to dig a several levels below this. And at this level, whoops, oh, I did a lot of damage. Three times damage really does a lot. That will go all the way down. Now I'm going to make this several deeper than this. By no means is this as deep as it's going to be. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig all this out all the way around. And then I'll probably have a couple of passageways going directly into the center of the base so I can access it. And then I'm going to put the traps will be here, eat flush with the ground. And then here on this level will be a bunch of, if I can actually make them, oh, I can totally make them. There will be a bunch of these. And what they're going to do is this. I can even upgrade them because it doesn't matter because this is going to be going this way. Yep, got it right. So, so what this will do is, and I'm going to dig this out further. Ooh, is that cool? Yes, that is. I'll be able to come under here all the way around and repair them and replace without having to worry about coming and doing it up here. Now, now that I think about it, I don't really need to do that. Well, I will to wire them up because all the wiring will be underground. So, yeah, I was starting to think for a minute. I was like, do I really need to do that since I can just easily repair them? They're not going to be hard to get to. But, no, I'll still want to do them from underneath. It's obviously a lot of work, but you know what? I don't care. So, that is the plan for this. But I've still got to get a whole bunch of those uh, crafted. Let's go ahead and grab all these since I don't need them. Now, fortunately, this won't take long. Because, like I said, uh, I use, when it comes to when I do large amounts of digging, not small amounts. Like, when I did all of this, I did all of this with the auger with the normal damage. It took, like, three hits per stone, or I don't really care. But when I do really large digs, I upgrade, I up the uh, player damage briefly to 300% so that I can one-shot all these blocks to get them done. Because, sorry, I don't feel like spending three hours doing something I can do in an hour. If that's cheating, eh, whatever, don't care. Still gonna do it because I don't feel like wasting hours doing stuff. Especially when I already spend so many hours in this game, it's ridiculous. So, that is that. And I think... Oh yeah, I also modded the auger to have more gas. <laughs> 2700. Uh, 200 gas is just ridiculous. I can't stand that. Every time you start to get going, you got to stop and refill. And what does that actually do? It doesn't add anything. It's just it's annoying. Besides, I haven't added all the other mods yet. I don't intend to, but I might. Uh, let's see. All right. So I think for now, that's pretty much all we're going to do for this episode. What I'm going to do in the next episode is I'm going to start crafting this stuff. And then we'll probably do a loot run or something, maybe a quest, so I can... can I put anything? Now see, now I can put something in there. Yes. I don't know what... whatever glitch was there, it's fixed. So, I also, of course, need to create a entrance into here from... Ooh, wow. Sucker took some damage. Uh, I need to create an entrance from somewhere. I'll probably... what side is the thing? So it's to the east... So, west. So, we'll probably... No. It is... Wait, what? Yeah, it's to the east, Jagoon. I'll probably make an entrance on this side underground in order to get here. And I'll make it a little bit out so that they won't track to it. Which they won't anyway, because I'll make it a steel vault hatch and all that. So, Alright, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, suggestion, or subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe. Back up your game saves. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.